is a very good morning to you all. Welcome to the Speed Labs YouTube channel. I am Dr. Ayushi Rawat, biology expert. So welcome to this uh, class 10th foundation course. So I will just give a quick, you know, uh, idea about what exactly is happening in this course. So beta, nothing much. We are just, you know, covering the basics of class 10th. And also we will be giving you some extra tips, you know, extra tricks and some extra knowledge around the topic. Okay. So in the last class, I had started with the chapter life processes. Pehle hum thoda sa revision karenge ki humne kya kya pada tha last class mein. Okay. And then we are going to learn something new. Okay. So we had discussed the basics about life processes because hum kisi bhi chapter ko start karte hain. उससे पहले हमें पता होना चाहिए कि उस चैप्टर का मीनिंग क्या है राइट right? हमें पहले पता होना चाहिए कि लाइफ प्रोसेसेस का मीनिंग क्या है ओके सो लाइफ प्रोसेसेस हमने पढ़ा था दे आर नथिंग बट द बेसिक फंक्शन दैट आर परफॉर्म बाय लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम टू मेंटेन टू मेंटेन देयर लाइफ ऑन दिस अर्थ दीज आर कॉल्ड एज दाइफ प्रोसेसिस दीज आर कॉल्ड एज वॉट दीज आर कॉल्ड एज दाइफ processes the basic functions which are performed by living organisms to maintain their life on this earth are called as life processes okay to maine aap logo ko pura idea diya tha how are you going to differentiate between a living and a non living thing then kuch kuch aise organisms hote hain ya plants hote hain jinke andar hame jaise breathing movement hua wo bahut apparent nahi hoga then how are you going to define that it is a living or a non living thing so humne thoda sa molecular movements pe discuss kiya tha right we discussed little about the molecular movements then what is the importance of that molecular movements and is the question bhi aata hai bachcho board exams mein it is very important from your board exam point of view okay so i think the uh, introduction about the life processes is sorted what is the definition humne kuch questions pe discuss kiye the uske around right then we started with the first life process that is the nutrition nutrition ke andar maine aapko bataya tha hame do key points ka yaad rakhna hai do key terms ka yaad rakhna hai that there is intake of the food happening and there is utilization of the food happening right nutrition is what it is intake as well as utilization of food right तो हमें ये दोनों टर्म्स जो है वो याद रखने हैं ये मैंने लास्ट क्लास में भी बताया गैन अ वेरी बेसिक क्वेश्चन बट इट हैज बीन आस्ट इन योर प्रीवियस ईयर इन बोर्ड्स तो एक इंपॉर्टेंट चीज है ये न्यूट्रिशन इज नीडेड टू प्रोवाइड एनर्जी फॉर डूइंग एनी एक्टिविटी एंड प्रोवाइड एसेंशियल न्यूट्रिय लाइफ प्रोसेस न्यूट्रिशन इनके बारे में हमने काफी डिटेल में डिस्कस किया था लास्ट क्लास में ओके ऑटोट्रॉपिक न्यूट्रिशन में मैंने आपको बताया था that these organisms they can prepare their own food now they can prepare their own food from simple inorganic materials like carbon dioxide and water which is present in the surroundings right simple inorganic materials but you here it is very important it is a key point that Like what are autotrophs doing, or what are the organisms doing, which are following this mode of nutrition? They are preparing their own food from simple inorganic material. You, dear sir, you know I am emphasizing on the term simple inorganic material. That means it is very important. Okay, and the organisms which are following this mode of nutrition, they are called as the autotrophs. I am sure examples आप लोगों को पता है. राइट ओके नेक्स्ट हमने डिस्कस किया था हेट्रोट्रॉपिक मोड ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन हेट्रोट्रॉपिक मोड ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन हेट्रो मींस अदर एंड ट्रॉपिक मींस टू ऑप्टेन न्यूट्रिशन राइट ये मैंने लास्ट क्लास में भी बताया था हेट्रो मींस अदर एंड ट्रॉपिक मींस टू ऑप्टेन nutrition okay hetero means other and trophic means to obtain nutrition that means the organisms which are following this mode of nutrition 
kitchen they cannot make their own food and they are dependent on other organisms these heterotrophs they are dependent on other organisms for their food examples all the animals some bacteria and fungi all these organisms they cannot use the inorganic substances but so again the term inorganic substances has come in case of autotrophic mode of nutrition they can use inorganic substances in case of heterotrophic mode of nutrition they cannot use the inorganic substances these organisms which cannot make their own food from inorganic substances like carbon dioxide and water and definitely they are dependent on other organisms for their food are called as heterotrophs okay so again inorganic सब्सटेंस पे फोकस करना बहुत जरूरी है ऑटोट्रोप्स जो है वो यूटिलाइज करेंगे वो यूज करेंगे इन ऑर्गेनिक सब्सटेंसेस को एंड हेट्रोट्रोप्स नहीं यूज कर सकते हैं देन वी रेड अबाउट द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ हेट्रोट्रोपिक मोड ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन द सैप्रोट्रोपिक न्यूट्रिशन द पैरासिटिक न्यूट्रिशन द होलोजोइक न्यूट्रिशन ओके नाउ सैप्रोट्रोपिक न्यूट्रिशन इन दिस द ऑर्गेनिजम्स दे आर ऑब्टेनिंग फूड फ्रॉम डिकेइंग ऑर्गेनिक मैटर ऑफ डेड प्लांट्स डेड एनिमल्स रोटन ब्रेड एटसेट्रा and the organisms which are following this mode of nutrition they are called as saprophytes or saprotrophs iske liye maine to make bahut peculiar cheez batayi thi ki yahan pe organisms they are releasing enzymes the organisms are releasing enzymes external to their body okay organisms are releasing enzymes external to their body right enzymes release karte hain body ke bahar whatever the dead and decayed plants and animals are unke unke andar jo complex cheez hai wo simplified cheez mein convert hoti hai the complex the complex substances they are converted into simple substances and then those simple substances they are absorbed by the body of these organisms okay to ye yaad rakhna hai नेक्स्ट हमने पढ़ा था पैरासिटिक मोड ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन पैरासिटिक वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यहाँ पे हमें क्लियरली दिख रहा है दिस इज पैरासाइट राइट दिस इज अ वर्म दिस इज अ पैरासाइट एंड ये जिसकी गट लाइनिंग में है दैट इज दी होस्ट तो यहाँ पे दोनों टर्म्स हियर बोथ द टर्म्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट द पैरासाइट द टर्म पैरासाइट इज इंपॉर्टेंट एंड द टर्म होस्ट इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट okay so parasite is an organism which feeds on other living organism called its host right parasite it is the organism which is deriving the nutrition from the body of the host to so, yaha pe tumhe clarity honi chahiye ki what is a parasite and what is a host and these are the various examples some animals like plasmodium round worms and there are plant parasites also like example cascuta then there are several fungi and bacteria which will act as parasite or which are following the parasitic mode of nutrition okay next is holozoic mode of nutrition holozoic again very important here if you guys remember i told you relate the term holo with whole okay whole or or complex your what is happening the whole complex food the complete food is taken in by the organism it is taken in and then there are various steps that are following this uh, that are following in this nutrition okay so the first step is ingestion the process of taking in the food is called as ingestion term in in se relate karna hai ki khana andar ja raha hai now once the food has gone inside then the next step that is digestion because if we talk about humans in our body we are not able to absorb or we are not able to utilize the complex substances the so first these complex substances they need to be broken down into simple molecules right so the process of breaking complex food substances into simple molecules is called digestion and the simple molecules thus obtained they can be absorbed by the body exactly so the first step is ingestion then digestion now the 
digested food it needs to be taken in inside the body it needs to go into the blood so that the process of transportation can happen so that jo blood mein khana aaya hai blood mein jo simple molecules aaye hain wo different different cells tak pahunch sake okay the third step is absorption process of absorption of digested food is called absorption okay now the once the food has been absorbed it is going to be taken to the different cells of the body of cells of the body kya karenge usko utilize karenge right they can use it for growth they can use it for repair for reproduction etc so the next step is assimilation the process of utilization of digested food for energy for growth and repair is called assimilation again this is very important yahan pe confuse hone ki tendency hoti hai assimilation hum log kabhi kabhi skip kar dete hain aur exam mein yahi question aa jata hai that define assimilation so this is very important the next and the last step of follows so it nutrition is ejection the process of removing undigested food from the body is called ejection if you guys remember we discussed and i explained you about the difference between ejection and excretion okay ejection is removal of undigested food and excretion is removal of metabolic waste products removal of nitrogenous waste products okay next next we know that the plants they prepare their own food and the process which they are following is nothing but photosynthesis right the photosynthesis is the process by which the plants are preparing their own food they are utilizing carbon dioxide water in the presence of sunlight in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll and giving glucose oxygen and water okay so the reaction the complete reaction of photosynthesis is very important photosynthesis is something jo aap log bachpan se karte hue aa rahe ho right photosynthesis is something jo humne bahut chote classes se sikha hai green plants mein hota hai ye sab cheeze chahiye rehti hai aur iska ye product banta hai yahan pe एक इम्पॉर्टेंट चीज है कि जब भी रिएक्शन लिखोगे वेन एवर यू गाइज आर राइटिंग द रिएक्शन इट नीड्स टू बी अ बैलेंस इक्वेशन और अ बैलेंस रिएक्शन यू नीड टू बैलेंस बोथ साइड्स ओके सो द प्रोसेस बाय विच ग्रीन प्लांट्स प्रिपेयर देयर फूड इज कॉल्ड एज फोटोसिंथेसिस फोटो मींस लाइट सो ड्यूरिंग दिस प्रोसेस द सोलर एनर्जी इज गेटिंग कन्वर्टेड इन टू केमिकल एनर्जी यस ग्लूकोज मिलता है हमें as a product of photosynthesis glucose milta hai hame so definitely solar energy is getting converted into chemical energy and the carbohydrates are formed okay solar energy again i am repeating solar energy is getting converted into chemical energy okay solar energy is getting converted into chemical energy this line is very important mcqs may bhi aa sakta hai ye okay next is that green leaves green leaves are the main site of photosynthesis green leaves are main site of photosynthesis the green portion of plants contain chloroplast which contain chlorophyll pigment okay the green portion of the plant it contain in chloroplast which contain chlorophyll pigment chlorophyll pigment bahut important hai sunlight ko yahan pe trap karta hai right sunlight ko trap karta hai to chlorophyll pigment hame kahan pe mil raha hai this chlorophyll pigment we will find in chloroplast so this whole reaction again very important okay ab hame yahan se discuss karna hai that what what exactly is happening here so but to here there is this section of the leaf that is given now this this section again it is very important it can be asked to draw in the boards or to label it is very important okay so the first layer is the cuticle the first layer is the cuticle what is cuticle it is the waxy coating or the waxy covering right after the cuticle comes the epidermis then after the epidermis comes the mesophyll cells these are what these are both mesophyll cells both 
both of them are the mesophyll cells now one they are arranged you know very close to each other in a fence like manner so they are called as the palisade mesophyll cells and the other one they are loosely arranged they have intercellular spaces see here these are what these green portions they are nothing but the intercellular spaces okay these are the intercellular spaces इसे भी क्वेश्चन आता है ये अभी हम डिस्कस करते हैं ठीक है तो हमने इस मीजोफिल सेल्स देखे मीजोफिल सेल्स में पहले पैलोसिड मीजोफिल हो गया एंड देन सेकंड क्या हो गया स्पॉन्जी मीजोफिल हो गया ओके फर्स्ट इज पैलोसिड मीजोफिल सेकंड इज स्पॉन्जी मीजोफिल अब देखो यहां पे हमें एक और नया वर्ड दिख रहा है वैस्कुलर बंडल योर वी कैन सी वैस्कुलर बंडल वैस्कुलर बंडल आई एम श्योर सबको याद होगा xylem and phloem plants ki hum log baat kar rahe hain xylem and phloem yes the function of xylem is to transport transport water and minerals right it transports water and minerals and phloem transports Food, right? So xylem and phloem they make the vascular bundle. Xylem, the function of the xylem is transportation of water and minerals, and the function of phloem is that it transports food. Okay, I hope I am clear with this part. Then on the lower epidermis, then on the lower epidermis we can see small openings which are called as stoma. Right up. यहाँ पे नेक्स्ट डायग्राम में क्या किया है नेक्स्ट डायग्राम में एक मीजोफिल सेल उठाया है और उसको जूम किया है सो नाउ दिस इज अ प्लांट सेल सेल वॉल होगा सेल मेम्ब्रेन भी होगा राइट बिकॉज इट इज अ प्लांट सेल तो सेल वॉल होगा सेल मेम्ब्रेन भी होगा ठीक है एक ह्यूज वैक्यूल होगा बिकॉज वैक्यूल दे आर वेरी प्रोमिनेंट इन प्लांट सेल्स देर इज अ न्यूक्लियस and now these green structures that you see these are what these are chloroplast the cell organelles in which you know, in which the chlorophyll pigment is present in which the process of photosynthesis is happening these are what these are chloroplast now what are chloroplast chloroplast are type of plastids yes plastids is a cell organelle that you must remember from your ninth standard right plastids karke ek cell organelle padha tha so chloroplast kya hai chloroplast is a type of plastid right plastid padhe the uske humne teen type padhe the plastids ke teen type padhe the first leucoplast second chromoplast and third one third one is chloroplast yes so leucoplast kya hote hain leucoplast they are the colorless plastids they do not have color in them they do not provide any kind of color okay leucoplast they are the colorless plastids their main function is storage right their main function is storage of food now this storage it can be uh, proteins carbohydrates or fats isi basis pe leucoplast pe further classification bhi hai lyoplast 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 and amyloplast right leucoplast वापस फर्दर हम लोग क्लासीफाई कर सकते हैं ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द टाइप ऑफ द फूड दैट दे आर स्टोरिंग नेक्स्ट इज क्रोमोप्लास्ट chromoplast kya hote hain chromoplast they provide color chroma means color so they provide color the flower right or the fruits the chromoplast they provide color then next is the third important plastid is chloroplast Chloro chloroplast they are chlorophyll containing plastids chlorophyll containing plastids provide green color to the plants green color provide karte hain chlorophyll pigment present hota hai and isi ki wajah se inka jo function hota hai that is photosynthesis right the function is what photosynthesis if we see how the how the structure of chloroplast is so kuch aisa rehta hai 
right now chloroplast it is a double membranous cell organelle matlab ek outer membrane hai aur ek inner membrane hai so chloroplast it is a double membranous cell organelle it has one outer membrane and it has one inner membrane right uh, अंदर का स्ट्रक्चर जब हम देखेंगे तो हमें यहाँ पे ऐसे कोइन लाइक स्ट्रक्चर्स मिलते हैं विच आर स्टैग्ड ओवर वन अनादर वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड दीज कोइन लाइक स्ट्रक्चर्स विच आर स्टैग्ड ओवर वन अनादर तो यहाँ पे भी एक ऐसे बना देते हैं राइट यू कैन सी दैट दीज आर द कोइन लाइक स्ट्रक्चर्स विच आर स्टैग्ड ओवर वन अनादर नाउ द सिंगल कॉइन If I pick up a single stack, if I pick up a single coin from here, that will be called as thylakoid. Okay, that will be called as thylakoid. I have the whole stack from this one coin. Jo hai, wo nikal liya. That will be called as the thylakoid. Okay. Now, if I label this complete stack of coin, then it is called as grana. और ग्रैनम ग्रैनम इज सिंगुलर एंड पूरा भी क्या हो जाएगा ग्रैना हो जाएगा सो दिस इज थाइलेकोइड एक सिंगल कॉइन जो है उसको थाइलेकोइड बोलते हैं एंड सारे स्टैक्स को क्या बोल रहे हैं ग्रैना बोल रहे हैं ठीक है यहाँ पे क्या है यहाँ पे स्ट्रोमा प्रेजेंट है स्ट्रोमा राइट वट एवर यू नो द सेमी द जेली लाइक फ्लूड दैट इज present inside the chloroplast is called as the stroma okay and then there are these channels which are connecting the granas that are connecting the granas these are called as these are called as the stroma lamellae stroma lamellae stroma lamellae bol dete hain ya fir fret channels bhi bol dete hain okay they are also called as चैनल्स और स्ट्रोमा लैमिले अब ये ऐसा दिखता है क्लोरोप्लास्ट जब हम इसको जूम करके देखते हैं क्लोरोप्लास्ट की एक और कैरेक्टरिस्टिक प्रॉपर्टी होती है इसके पास खुद का डीएनए होता है खुद के इसके पास यू नो राइबोसोम्स होते हैं बहुत यू नो एक और सेल ऑर्गेनाइज होता है जिसके पास ऐसी चीजें होती है जो माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया होता है एक क्लोरोप्लास्ट है एक माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया है तो इसके पास खुद का डीएनए हुआ और राइबोजोम्स हुए ओके राइबोसोम्स हुए डीएनए हुआ मतलब हम अज्यूम करते हैं कि ये खुद खुद जो है वो कुछ प्रोटीन्स का सिंथेसिस कर सकता है इट कैन प्रिपेयर सम ऑफ द प्रोटीन्स ऑन इट्स ओन राइट बट इसके पास सारे प्रोटीन सिंथेसाइज करने की मशीनरी नहीं है स्टिल फॉर द सिंथेसिस ऑफ सम ऑफ द प्रोटीन्स दिस क्लोरोप्लास्ट इट इज डिपेंडेंट ऑन द न्यूक्लियस सो दैट्स वाई we call this as semi autonomous semi autonomous cell organelle okay we call it as semi autonomous cell organelle okay it is very important chloroplast is a semi autonomous cell organelle because it is having ribosomes it has its own dna it has various enzymes it has rna also it can prepare some of the proteins but it cannot prepare all the proteins right ye fir bhi kuch proteins ki synthesis ke liye dependent hota hai on the nucleus so that's why it is called as the semi autonomous cell organelle and same implies for mitochondria also mitochondria is also called as semi autonomous cell organelle okay now let's move further i hope the structure of the chloroplast is clear now the raw materials of photosynthesis next is the raw materials of photosynthesis so agar reaction yaad hai if you guys remember the reaction if you guys remember the equation very clearly then the raw materials are very simple okay so first is sunlight second is chlorophyll sunlight is absorbed by the chlorophyll pigment then the third raw material that we need is the carbon dioxide so carbon dioxide enters through the stomata and oxygen it is released as a by product to the stomata on the leaf yes hum logo ne equation dekha tha equation mein oxygen was formed as a by product right so that oxygen it is released from the stomata 
and the carbon dioxide which is required for the process of photosynthesis that also enters through the stomata okay then the next is the next raw material which is required is water so water plus dissolved minerals like nitrogen phosphorus etc they are taken up by the roots from the soil the water absorbed by the roots of the plant is transported upwards through xylem vessels to the leaf where it reaches the photosynthetic cell humne xylem ke bare mein baat kari thi right xylem ke different components i am sure tum log ko yaad honge xylem vessels tracheids right xylem fiber xylem parenchyma to yahan pe xylem vessels ke bare mein baat kar raha hai this thing the water that is absorbed by the roots of the plants it is transported upward to the xylem vessels to the leaves where it reaches the photosynthetic cell jahan pe process of photosynthesis ho raha hai ye wahan pe pahunchayega pani ko because pani is one of the raw materials of photosynthesis okay so water plus dissolved minerals like nitrogen phosphorus etc they are taken up by the roots from the soil and from the roots the xylem vessels they will be transporting the water along with the dissolved minerals to the photosynthetic cells okay i hope i am clear on this point next next is the main events of photosynthesis abhi tak humne bas itna padha hai ki photosynthesis hota hai hum logo ko carbon dioxide chahiye rehta hai plants ko carbon dioxide chahiye rehta hai water chahiye rehta hai in the presence of sunlight chlorophyll and hame product ban ke mil jata hai glucose oxygen and water now what are the main events of photosynthesis synthesis that is very very important so absorption of light energy by chlorophyll then conversion of light energy to chemical energy and splitting of water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen so this reaction this re, this reaction is called as photolysis of water okay this reaction is called as photolysis of water conversion of light energy to chemical energy and splitting of water molecule into hydrogen and oxygen this reaction this water which is broken down or the, the water which is splitting into 2h plus plus 2 electrons plus half oxygen okay so this oxygen so question can be asked that how is oxygen liberated or from which reaction is oxygen liberated so oxygen hame kahan se mil raha hai the oxygen it is coming from photolysis of water it is coming from photolysis of water in the presence of light there is lysis there is breakdown of water happening so it is called as photolysis of water ye bhi question ban sakta hai a very beautiful mcq can be formed that the oxygen which is liberated during photosynthesis is coming from so the options various options can be given reduction of carb, uh, reduction of carbon dioxide photolysis of water so you have to mark the correct option okay so conversion of light energy to chemical energy and splitting of water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen very 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 important very important okay then the third step is reduction of carbon dioxide to carbohydrates ek aur question banta hai yahan pe ki carbohydrates jo hai wo kahan se aa rahe hain aur jo carbohydrates they are coming from reduction of carbon dioxide the carbon dioxide is getting reduced to form carbohydrates to jaise yahan pe ek question form hua tha that where we are getting the oxygen from we are getting the oxygen from photolysis of water pani ke breakdown se pani ke lysis se hame oxygen mil raha hai similarly uh, a question can be formed that where are we getting the carbohydrates from carbohydrates they are coming from reduction of carbon dioxide very important okay now next important line is that desert plants they take up carbon dioxide at night prepare an intermediate which is acted upon by the energy absorbed by chlorophyll during the day desert me problem kya aata hai in desert during the day theek hai during the day temperature bahut zyada hota hai temperature bahut zyada hota hai to lot of water from the plants it can be very high right during the day in desert plants the temperature is high so loss of water 
कैन ऑल्सो बी हाई अब अगर प्लांट्स जो हैं वो लॉस ऑफ वाटर को होने देंगे तो प्रॉब्लम हो जाएगी मेटाबॉलिक एक्टिविटी खराब हो जाएगी प्लांट्स की डेथ हो सकती है थोड़े टाइम में राइट right? बट ऐसा होता नहीं है ऐसा क्यों नहीं होता है बिकॉज ड्यूरिंग द डे प्लांट्स क्या करते हैं स्टोमेटा को क्लोज रखते हैं राइट right? स्टोमेटा को क्लोज रखते हैं अब स्टोमेटा तो चलो इन्होंने क्लोज कर लिया टू प्रिवेंट द लॉस ऑफ द वाटर बट दिक्कत आ जाती है कि फोटोसिंथेसिस के लिए कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड कहाँ से आएगा बिकॉज हमने यहाँ पे देखा है दिस कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इट इज कमिंग फ्रॉम द स्टोमेटा तो यहाँ पे बहुत बड़ी प्रॉब्लम इकट्ठी हो गई खड़ी हो गई कि जब दिन में अगर स्टोमेटा बंद कर लिया तो कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड कहाँ से आएगा एंड इफ दिस कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इज नॉट कमिंग देन फोटोसिंथेसिस कैसे होगा तो टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम वॉट डेजर्ट प्लांट्स टू इज डेजर्ट प्लांट्स दिस टेक अप कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड ड्यूरिंग नाइट बिकॉज रात में क्या होता है रात में टेम्परेचर कम होता है तो प्लांट्स आर कम्फर्टेबल ओपनिंग दर स्टोमेटा सो वॉट दे आर गोइंग टू डू they are going to take up carbon dioxide at night and prepare an intermediate they will prepare a intermediate compound which is acted upon by the energy absorbed by chlorophyll during the day okay so is pe bhi question aata hai boards ke andar this is very important that how do desert plants they perform the process of photosynthesis or what exactly is happening in them kyunki din mein temperature bahut zyada hota hai wo stomata open nahi kar sakte hain ओपन करेंगे तो क्या हो जाएगा लॉस ऑफ वाटर हो जाएगा और वो ये नहीं चाहते हैं राइट तो वो क्या करेंगे रात को कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड लेते हैं दे टेक अप कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एट नाइट एंड प्रिपेयर एन इंटरमीडिएट व्हिच इज एक्टेड अपॉन बाय द एनर्जी एब्जॉर्ब्ड बाय क्लोरोफिल ड्यूरिंग द डे ओके आई होप आई एम क्लियर ऑन दिस पार्ट ठीक है नेक्स्ट हां नेक्स्ट अब हम थोड़ा सा फोटोसिंथेसिस को डिटेल में जानेंगे ठीक है जो प्रोसेस ऑफ फोटोसिंथेसिस होता है बच्चों द प्रोसेस ऑफ फोटोसिंथेसिस इट हैपेंस इन टू फेजेस फर्स्ट इज द लाइट रिएक्शन फर्स्ट इज द लाइट रिएक्शन और यू कैन आल्सो कॉल इट एज लाइट डिपेंडेंट रिएक्शन एंड सेकंड इज डार्क रिएक्शन ओके डार्क रिएक्शन और आई कैन आल्सो कॉल इट एज लाइट Independent reaction, light independent reaction. Okay, so the process of photosynthesis it is happening in two stages. First is light reaction, second is dark reaction. Now let's understand what are the events that are happening in light reaction. So, पहले हम light reaction के बारे में discuss करते हैं. Okay, light reaction में so first is that it hota kahan hai so this light reaction it takes place it takes place in grana region okay this process of light reaction it is happening in the grana region this region this is the place of the light and reaction or the location of the light reaction now uh, important event is happening in the light reaction that is photolysis of water right events padhe the humne to photolysis of water kahan pe ho raha hai it is happening in light reaction so photolysis of water is one of the important events of photosynthesis and it is happening in which phase of the photosynthesis it is happening in the light reaction okay next <clears throat> next photolysis of वाटर के बाद हमने देखा था कि हमें मिले थे इलेक्ट्रॉन्स मिले थे प्रोटॉन्स मिले थे एंड ऑक्सीजन मिला था राइट नाउ द क्वेश्चन इज दैट व्हाट हैपेंस टू ऑल दीज थिंग्स सो द ऑक्सीजन ऑक्सीजन गोस इनटू एटमॉस्फेयर द ऑक्सीजन गोस इनटू एटमॉस्फेयर नाउ द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड protons released the electrons and protons that were released as a result of photolysis of water they are used in are used in production of are used in production of assimilatory power assimilatory 
power in the form of in the form of n a d p h and a t p so dekho the light reaction hua aur jo electrons and protons bane the unhone kya bana liya na d p h bana liya and a t p bana liya theek hai to ye teeno cheeze teeno points the all the three points about light reaction are very important where it is happening what is the main event happening in light reaction it is the photolysis of water and as a result of photolysis of water we know kya kya bana tha protons bane the electrons bane the oxygen bana the oxygen ka to simple hai it is going to go into the atmosphere right electrons and protons to release hue the wo kahan use ho rahe they are used in production of nadph and atp very important okay next is the dark reaction next is the dark reaction next step kya hai ya next phase kya hai dark reaction this is light independent reaction now the name can be misleading here dark reaction ka matlab ye nahi hai that it is happening in the night it is a light independent reaction it does not require light for it to process okay it is a light independent reaction that's why we are calling it dark reaction okay so dark reaction mein kya hota hai the assimilatory powers the assimilatory power nadph and atp the assimilatory power generated generated in light phase in the light reaction or in the light phase is used is used okay so the assimilatory power those that were generated in the light reaction they are used in the dark reaction and carbon dioxide and carbon dioxide is reduced carbon dioxide is reduced to carbohydrates okay to humne jab main events of photosynthesis padhe the humne yahi padha tha ek ek important cheez ho gayi photolysis of water to photolysis of water kahan pe ho rahi light reaction mein ho rahi and ek humne padha tha reduction of carbohydrate carbon dioxide to carbohydrates to wo kahan pe ho raha hai dark reaction mein ho raha hai theek hai and this dark reaction where does it take place it takes place in the stroma it takes place in the stroma of the chloroplast so see here what is happening atp and nadph jo light reaction mein bana tha wo kahan pe ja raha hai idhar ja raha hai kelvin cycle dark reaction ko hum kelvin cycle bhi bolte hain behind the name of the scientist it was discovered by kelvin benson and basim ne in the year 1955 is process ko discover kiya tha isliye hum isko kelvin cycle bolte hain so what is happening atp nadph jo yahan pe bana hai wo kelvin cycle mein ja raha hai It is utilizing the carbon dioxide and it is producing the sugars. It is producing the carbohydrates. Now see here, what has happened? NADP plus and ADP plus inorganic phosphate, which are made, they will again enter into the light reaction. Okay, and see here, light reaction means what? Photolysis of water is happening. So oxygen, which is liberated. तो ये दोनों चीजें बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है फोटोलिसिस ऑफ वाटर हैपनिंग इन द लाइट रिएक्शन एंड रिडक्शन ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड टू शुगर टू कार्बोहाइड्रेट इन द डार्क रिएक्शन लोकेशन ऑफ लाइट रिएक्शन एंड डार्क रिएक्शन अगेन आई विल रिपीट इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके ओके सो आई होप आई एम क्लियर विद द लाइट रिएक्शन एंड द डार्क रिएक्शन ओके यहां पे इवेंट्स ऑफ द फोटोसिंथेसिस बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है बोर्ड पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से भी इवेंट्स ऑफ फोटोसिंथेसिस बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है ये ऑल द थ्री पॉइंट्स दे आर एग्जैक्टली पिक्ड अप फ्रॉम एनसीईआरटी व्हिच इज अगेन आई विल रिपीट एनसीईआरटी इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यू शुड बी थरो विद एवरी लाइन ऑफ एनसीईआरटी एंड इवन इफ यू आर यू नो प्लानिंग फॉर एनी कॉम्पिटिशन the exams then again ncert is the book which is followed in the competitive exams also so this main events of photosynthesis they are these lines they are directly picked from ncert and very important 
okay all the points that are covered they are very very important section of the leaf and everything the various you know the various steps of photosynthesis the light reaction and the dark reaction again very very important what are the products that are formed what is the reaction of photosynthesis all these things they are very important okay so i hope i hope Hope you all, you all, all of you understood today's lecture. If you guys have any doubts, then please put it in the comment section. I will address to them in the next lecture. Okay, till then, take care and bye bye. We will meet so uh, next week now. Okay, so and also if you guys like the lecture, then please subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up, like the video. Okay, and share it with your friends as much as possible. Okay, guys. Uh, okay, guys. So bye bye and take care.